Well, welcome back, guys. I'm going to finish knocking the bark off of this big old oak log. We're going to throw it on the mill and see what we can end up with. Three days ago, the high temperature was 22 degrees. Today, we have set a high temperature record of 82. <laughs> what, a, what a difference in temperature. It is nice to be out in the sunshine. And I'll tell you, warmer weather is going to be appreciated here. This sharpshooter does a pretty good job taking the spark off for us. I do have it sharpened. So it's cutting in there a little deeper than a regular shovel would. And this will help our saw blade last a little longer. But it also allows me to see the log. Since this is all new to me, I want to be able to see as much of this thing as I can before we mill it up. That way I know what I'm getting to. Yeah, I can't believe it's this warm out today. And it's definitely a change in temperature that I have to get used to. Again, three days ago, we were back here doing some work and coveralls and heavy coats. All right. Now we're going to get the big saw out and we're going to go ahead and square this end of the log up as well. Now having just got the mule clean, I'm not about to get it muddy today, but boy, it hasn't looked that good since December. <laughs> it's nice to get that thing cleaned up. Looking forward to hit listening to this guy run for a little bit too. What a saw. This thing has some power. I'll tell you what, that thing left a bigger pile of sawdust cutting that single round off of there than what we're going to make off the sawmill, I do believe. It definitely can chew through a tree. Well, we've got it squared up and we're ready to roll it to the mill. I made this 5x5 five five yesterday out of cedar. We are almost 16 feet long there. And that squared up nice. We got square almost all the way to the top of it. And I tried to save as much of that as I could. So that's definitely going to work. We're going to also try out the lubrication system on the 126 today. We'll put us some windshield fluid in there in order to uh, keep it from freezing. Let's see if we can get this big one whirled down here. Let's 
see what that tree is going to offer us. So far, being able to make our own material here, guys, has been a really fun process. I've said it before in other videos. I enjoyed it with the chainsaw mill, and now that we have this thing, we should be able to make anything we want to. This guy rolled up out of here. And it is definitely a fun process. be able to get through this material and make something useful from it. That ain't too bad. Alright, it looks like that's going to roll just about the way we need to. Let's get that thing started up these ramps. There we go. This sawmill is a lot of fun, guys. There's there's some moving parts going on here, but it's an interesting process to me to be able to get all the stuff turned down to, I'm hoping for two by eights out of this thing. So to be able to take a tree like that and turn it into two by eights, definitely a fascinating process. All right, I should at least stop it. Well, that thing is heavy. Need to go this way just a little bit. Let's see if that's going to get on our bunk, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Well, it's definitely on there. I have just enough downhill grade here to make that kind of easy. They're stand up where I can see a little bit. So this is the first time I've put fluid in this tank. And I believe it holds two gallons. We're just going to put this one in it. That way we can try to get this log mill before it starts getting dark on us. All right. Yeah, and that brought us halfway up on the line over here. Good. Now our valve is right here on the bottom, and if we spin that clockwise, I believe it is, we should see, start to move into the hose. I'm going to hold this open so the hose will go ahead and drain in there. And I may have to have this all running. Now there it comes. Now it's filling the line up. And I'm going to get it down here to where it's just a good solid drip for us. 
go ahead and give that a little bit faster until we get some movement here and get the air out of the lines. Okay, I see it. What a handy feature because as you uh, activate your throttle over here, it opens this valve and allows us to move through. Now, let's see where we need to be. A little too much. And they say just a good consistent drip and that should give us what we need as far as what the blade requires. Get that guy down here where I can see it. A little more. That's a nice steady drip. So when you let go of the throttle, it stops. That way you're not draining all your fluid out of your tank while you're moving the log around or things like that. And another thing I will mention, I have noticed, and again, I'm new at this now, but the first three or four logs here uh, as I was milling, um, I started shutting my saw off. That way I'm not having a lot of idle time on this thing because you get to moving these uh, slabs and um, cans around and things like that and you'll spend more time than what you think you do. So I'm going to try to save as much idle time off of the saw as I can and so far we are just under an hour and a half and we still haven't used a tank of fuel yet. So this, this thing's doing pretty good. Let's cut this thing see what happens. This is the fun part. Now our first cut here I'm going to drop this down at about an inch, inch and a half, and we're going to run out of room probably about four foot under the log. Then I'm going to pull back and we'll drop down again, and that way it should flatten that out for us. Because uh, we're about three inches in size larger on this end than what we are on the opposite end. And I don't want to waste anything. Got this guy running. Well, that's as thin as we could cut that one. Tell you what, that grain's going to look awesome in this.
All right, so our second cut went a little better here. All right, guys, I had to wait till the next day to come down here so we have good light to see this. Look how nice and square this thing milled up. And we're going to end up with uh, four 2x8s out of this. And we also ended up with two 1x8s and one 2x4 out of this. This is definitely, definitely something else. Um, when you get down to the material, it looks like that. It makes it worth the effort. And we better cover that end up a little bit so we can see that. I also had laid this out thinking I was going to cut this into one buys, but and whatever we choose to do with it, you're not going to get better material than that. I mean, just absolutely looks amazing. I did have to make a correction for my dimension on one side of this and the little saw was able to take an eighth of an inch off the bottom side of this cant and you could roll that up so it uh, it really does a good job taking my time not in a hurry let the saw do its work we are uh, a little over two hours now and we are still working on the same tank of fuel so it's going to be easy on fuel. That's a good thing. Now all we have to do is figure out what we're going to build with this stuff. I hope you enjoy the video. This is definitely worth my time to do. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy watching it. Thanks. I'll talk to you on the next one. We'll find something else to do.